What is going on, people? I am here for the first time in a while. Haven't done a video in a long time. A uh, few different things. I've been going to the gym. So by the time I get home from work and come back from the gym, I'm tired. There's a whole bunch of videos I wanted to get to, but really haven't, like you see, uh, haven't gotten to them. But I wanted to do this one, if you couldn't tell by the title. I got a big unboxing. And uh, this is the box I have right here. I bought a whole bunch of stuff from uh, Pop-Up Pack, which, if you've seen some of my videos, I do Horror Pack unboxings, which is pretty much the same company, but instead of just having horror movies, they have uh, pretty much every uh, movies in different genres and stuff, uh, and that you could pick your pack as opposed to Horror Pack. You get four movies that are selected for you. Pop-Up Pack is more of... They give you a list and you can kind of choose what you want. Um, well, they had a, um, I don't want to know if you, you call it a spring cleaning or a, pretty much they wanted to get rid of some of their stock. So pretty much they dropped down some of the prices uh, because if they, you know, the pack goes by, then they'll sell the movies individually. So they dropped down a whole bunch of their prices. Most everything I got in here was worth $5.00. Uh, I think there was only one that was a little bit more. I think it, it was the, I got um, the Warcraft uh, Steelbook edition. And I think that one was like seven fifty or 8 bucks or something like that. Everything else was pretty much $5. And it was a $4 shipping fee. I uh, got, I believe, 40 movies in here. So I uh, got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this and pretty much, uh, you know, show you what I did get. What I'll do is I'll link the stuff for not only Pop-Up Pack, but I'll link uh, Horror Pack as well. I know a lot of you watch my Horror Pack unboxing, so like I said, this is the, you know, same company, just a different version of their uh, pack. So anyway, before I do open up, like I said, I got this big box here. Before I do open this up, uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button at the end of this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, hit that little bell button so you knew, so you know when I do upload uh, new videos as well as, you know, unboxings and stuff like that. So like I said, I think I got like 40 movies in here. So uh, this rivals the uh, Hamilton book. Uh, for those of you who've seen my... Um, I have two of those, so check those out as well. I kind of went, you know, crazy last month or so. So anyway, <clears throat> as I open this up now, they do it like they do <clears throat> their horror pack. Uh, they give you these nice little um, protectors, I guess you want to call it. Uh, horror pack, is, you get that as well. You just It comes in a smaller box and they put the movies in here. So, you know, they're pretty nicely protected. So anyway, uh, it looks like they kind of just scattered um, each movie and each thing. Uh, I uh, Who knows if they, you know, put them together in a certain way, but this is my little invoice and stuff like that. So uh, like I said, I believe, um, does it tell you how many I got uh, at the end of it? Uh, no. But uh, combined... Like I said, I think there's 40 movies in here combined with shipping and all the movies that came to around 200 bucks. So it was like another um, another Black Friday haul. That's what I said in my first Hamilton unboxing as well because I think I got like 30 movies or 40 movies in that as well. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just pull them out one by one. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I mean, I can go through here and uh, let me just, you know, like I said, everything's pretty much $5.00. Uh, there's some that are a little bit cheaper, uh, but for the most part, they're all uh, $5. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to just pull these out and uh, see what, you know, I did get. And like I said, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You'll get more stuff like this and uh, reviews and stuff like that. So anyway, pull this one out first. And uh, this has Angelina Jolie and Antonio Banderas. Uh, never owned this. Never. I don't think I've ever seen this. And it's Original Sin. All right. The next one I pull out is uh, Cillian Murphy and Jamie Dorian in Anthropoid. In Anthropoid. Okay. Resistance has a new name. Uh, so that's Anthropoid. This comes with the Blu-ray DVD and digital, digital HD. No idea when this came out. Uh, like I said, I never heard of it before, so that's uh, Anthropoid. Uh, the next one I get. A lot of these two are movies that, you know, for five dollars, I 
uh, just decided to check them out. Uh, this one has Emilio Rivera, Joel Matthews, and Ray Liotta in uh, The Devils in the Details, Payback is Hell. Like I said, a lot of these I didn't know before, so I just decided to. Uh, they were cheap enough where I'd just pick them up and see what they were. Uh, the next one, this one I never owned on um, Blu-ray yet. This is pretty much just a um, <clears throat> a upgrade from, I did have the DVD, but I upgraded it. And that's uh, Swordfish with uh, John Travolta, Hugh Jackman, Halle Berry, Don Cheadle. So many. This is a really good movie if you haven't seen it. Um, but that's Swordfish. And the next, the last one in this one is... Uh, Jarhead 2, The Field of Fire. This is the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD. Uh, so I decided to get that one. I remember enjoying the first Jarhead. I think there's a few that I got. I didn't. I only thought it ended at the first one. But according to here, I think there's at least three. Because I think I bought two of the other ones. Uh, so the next one I pull out is... This has Tommy Lee Jones, Char uh, Charlize Theron, Susan Sarandon... In the Valley of El Ella, Elia, Ella, something. I don't know. Like I said, a lot of these I've never heard of before. Um, but, you know, with some of these names in it, I'm like, let me just at least try, see what these are uh, These are like. Uh, this one I've never owned, and it's the Blu-ray, DVD, digital HD of uh, Baggage Claim. Uh, like I said, it comes with Blu-ray and DVD and the digital code. Uh, a lot of these are brand new, pretty much sealed and stuff. Uh, this, I remember hearing about, but it was always too expensive. And I'm like, eh, I'll wait until I, you know, uh, find it a little bit cheaper. It's got Jack Black, Steve Martin, and Owen Wilson in it. And it's uh, the big year. Uh, this one also comes with a digital copy. Who knows? It's probably, uh, you know, like a iTunes or something like that. But I remember hearing about this one, but just never going and picking it up. Uh, the next one I got is, uh, I did own this, I think on DVD, um, but I just decided to uh, pick it up and upgrade it to Blu-ray, which I don't even have the first one on Blu-ray, but uh, Blue Crush 2. I remember liking the, you know, not the greatest of movies for Blue Crush, but I remember liking the first one. I think I just bought the second one to buy the second one and never sat down to watch it. Uh, this one has uh, Christopher Thornton, Mark Ruffalo, Juliette Lewis, Laura Linney, and Orlando Bloom. And it's Sympathy for Delicious. I've never heard of this one. But again, some of the names in this one, I'm like... Some of the names in a lot of these movies that I never heard of, I'm like, why not check them out for like five bucks and uh, see what they are. Who knows? You know, I'll take a hit on some, some movies that might not be good, but if they're cheap enough... You know, try it, and you never know. It could be okay. This one has a slip cover, so I'm going to keep that for next. Uh, this one just sounded interesting, um, and it had an interesting cover. Um, bitch slap. So didn't own that, so I decided to pick that one up. Uh, the next one is okay. This one is no. Okay, it just has a hole in it. I thought it was uh, already open, but this is billionaire's ransom. Never heard of this before. Like I said, why not try it out? I'll leave the one with the slipcover to last. I don't know why, but uh, never owned this one either. Uh, even when uh, like Black Friday and stuff came around, I never owned it. Uh, and that's Sleepless with uh, Jamie uh, Foxx. It's got the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD. Like I said, never owned it. I must have just kind of uh, slipped out of... You know, my mind or whatever, whenever I got, uh, you know, the Black Friday, usually I'll go and just buy a whole bunch of everything. This one I always wanted to check out, but again, it was always a little bit too expensive. It's got Stefan Dorf or Steven Dorf and Elle Fanning in it. And it's pretty much, she's like his daughter uh, from what I got from the trailer. And he's pretty much like, I believe he's like a superstar or something like that, either an actor or a singer or something. And he has a daughter and it's him trying to kind of connect and stuff with her. But that's somewhere. Uh, like I said, I've what there, there's two or three movies <clears throat> that I've always been interested in, but never you know pulled the trigger and, and got it. But when I saw it for cheap enough somewhere, I'm like, let me pick it up and hopefully I like it. I you know I like both of them. Okay, this one has a slipcover. I remember this is 
Uh, I think it's like a torture type movie, almost like a um, came out around the time of. No, I can't even think of the movie where they they um, do the whole. They send the bomb people into like uh, the war, and they disarm bombs and stuff like that. I can't even think of the. Uh, I can't think of the name, but I think this came out around the same time. Uh, it's uh, Rosewater. This one I never owned. Um, and like I said, I think it's like someone gets cap uh, captured and they, it's a whole bunch of torture and stuff in the movie. Uh, so that's another one I got. All right. Let's see the next little combination. Uh, the private lives, the private lives of Pippa Lee. Again, never heard of it, but, uh, I got it for Keanu Reeves. And there was oh, Blake Lively, Julianne Moore. There's a whole bunch of people. Some of these names, I'm like, who are these people? But uh, Keanu Reeves, and I think I got it really for Blake Lively. Uh, but this is the um, the Private Lives of Pippa Lee. So, like I said, uh, a lot of these just kind of went with some of the people in it and never heard of the movie before. Uh, the next one I pull out is, okay, The Scorpion King 4. Again, I, I think there's a fifth one, too, that I got or something like that. Never even knew there was more than two. But I guess there's at least four, and I think I got a fifth. Either I got the third one or the fifth one or something like that. This has the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD. So, Scorpion King 4. That's another one with a slipcover, so I'll keep that on the side for now. Uh, this has... Um, Dennis Quaid is the real only reason because I don't know the other two. Tony Aller and Amy Teagarden. Uh, this is Beneath the Darkness. This one sounded pretty interesting. Uh, so I picked that one up. And then the one with the slipcover I'm interested in. Okay. Uh, that is actually Jarhead 3. So I got the third one. So I knew there was two. Jarhead and Jarhead 2. But this, um, like I said... This was the third, and then, I, like I said, I got the fourth over there, or whatever I got. Yeah, I got, did I get the fourth or the second one or something like that? I got the second one. I'm thinking it's Scorpion King. I got so many, I'm messed up already. But Jarhead 3, this comes with the Blu-ray, DVD, eight, uh, and digital HD. And like I said, it comes with a slipcover. So, really can't beat that for uh, that. I think I got it for, like, five bucks, I said. Uh, got four more of these little, little packs, so at least pretty much like five or six in each of them so the next one i got is um mercenaries uh that has uh who did i get this for uh i don't think i got it for anyone in particular maybe vivek a fox but this is one i just you know saw the cover i'm like uh why not let me see what the hell that is about uh the next one i got is uh love and dancing amy smart i got this for amy smart and uh uh, Billy Zane, I remember <clears throat> if you checked out my Instagram, <clears throat> I apologize. Uh, I had the uh, Just Friends. Uh, I watched that the other night, and I remember I checked this out right after, and I'm like, oh, why not? Let me get uh, Amy Smart. Always had a little crush on her back in the day. Okay, the next one is Our Brand of Crisis with uh, Sandra Bullock, uh, Billy Bob Thornton, and Anthony McKee, uh, don't know, uh, but, you know, promising names in that one. Uh, the next one I pull out is Our Family Wedding. No idea, but pick that up. Uh, the next one in here is uh, Barney's Version. Uh, and pretty much the reason I got this is I'm a huge Paul Giamatti fan, and he's in it. So that's the only reason I got this. Didn't even check it out. Once I saw his name, I'm like, have to go for him. Um, big Paul Giamatti fan. Some, you know, some of the movies he's in are, are great, but then you get some like the, uh, what was it, Big Fat Liar, which he's great in, but it's more of a kid's movie. But anything else that he's in, I, I dig sideways and stuff like that. Uh, Lost in the Sun is another one that I just got to get. Um, okay, almost done with this. Like I said, I got a whole bunch of them, so if you're with me still, thank you. Uh, if you know anything about any of these movies, let me know which one I should watch first. This is another one that I always wanted to check out, but it was always a little bit uh, too expensive. Uh, it's got Ron Perlman and Rupert Grint, who is Ron from uh, Harry Potter. And this is Moonwalkers. 
this is pretty much I don't know if they uh, pretend to, something with the moon landing where they pretend to uh, take their own kind of moon landing kind of deal I forget the entire premise of this movie but it has something to do with uh, the moon landing but I always wanted to check that one out just never bought it never okay I got another no oh, wow okay there's two with slip covers in this one okay the next one is uh, beyond a reasonable doubt um, I got this from Michael Douglas and Amber Tamlin don't know too much about this one but I picked it up uh, the next one I got is, like I said, it has a cover, a slip cover, and it's Cop Car with Kevin, uh, I was about to say Kevin Spacey, but it's Kevin Bacon. Uh, Cop Car, Blu-ray, Digital HD. Never owned this one, so I picked it up. Did not know it had a slip cover. Uh, the next one I got is Hard Target 2. This one is Blu-ray, DVD, and Digital HD, and it's got... Uh, Robert Kepner, uh, Rona Mitra, and Scott Atkins. Uh, don't have the first one, but I'm um, like, why not? Let me uh, pick it up. Hard Target 2. And we're down to two more packs. All right, let's see. Any of these? One has a slip cover. One has a slip. That's the uh, steel book. So I'll pull that one out first. And the reason I got it was because um, it's, you know, um, the this one looks a little bit different than the cover that I thought I was going to get. But um, I'm not the biggest steelbook collector, but, you know, for $5 or no, whatever, let me actually uh, look at it later. It's buried. But the World uh, Warcraft movie, uh, this, this is a steelbook, comes with a Blu-ray, uh, DVD, and digital uh, HD. So I got that. Okay, this next one is uh, uh, All We Had. I remember wanting this one. This was the third one that I wanted to get. This has, uh, what's her name, Katie Holmes in it. I believe this is her directorial debut or something like that. I don't know if she did anything other than this, but I, I believe this is her first one that she actually did, uh, directed by uh, uh, Katie Holmes. I believe this is about like a mother who's having a hard time and she has a, a kid and all this stuff and uh it's them trying to get by and such all we had i remember uh moonwalkers that one and what was the other one um the one with l fanning i can't think of it now uh this is lies and illusions uh christian slater um who else was in this that i saw kuba gooding jr those two those two were the two names lies and illusions uh, the next one is uh, Open Road. It uh, has uh, Camilla Bell, Colin Egglesfield, Andy Garcia, and uh, Juliet Lewis. Um, Open Road. This is the other one with the. Uh, okay, I didn't know this one came with the uh, with the slipcover, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Roger Corman's Death Race 2050. So this comes with the. Uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital uh, HD. All right, and we're on to the last one here. So, if, again, if you've stuck with me through this entire video and you're interested in what I got, thank you for sticking around. Let me see any of these. None of them have a uh, slipcover. So the next one is uh, Dragonheart 3. The, what the hell is this? The Sorcerer's Curse. Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD. I knew they had two. Didn't know they had three. Uh, the next one is uh, Trailer Park Boys, the uh, Countdown to Liquor Day. I believe this is the... Is there a second movie? I, I'm not, you know, the biggest Trailer Park Boy fan. I can't say a fan because I've been told many a times from my friends to watch it because they said one of the characters kind of... I remind them of him or... Yeah, pretty much. Um, and they've always told me about this, so I can't say I don't like it. It's just that I've never really seen it. But I thought I'd try the movie, uh, Trailer Park Boys Countdown to Liquor Day. <clears throat> the next one is uh, The Power of Few. Uh, this I saw the trailer for it. There was a few that I checked the trailer for. Uh, this one is, I believe... Um, Someone gets like a has like a special p uh, power of healing and stuff. It's got Christopher Walken, Kristen Slater, um, Anthony Anderson. Who else is in this that I, I found? Uh, uh, it's just them three. But uh, the power. What is this? The power of few. 
Uh, the next one is uh, Man with the Iron Fist 2. This comes with the Blu-ray DVD in digital HD. Uh, the next one is The Drop, which I've never had for some reason. I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, unless I just didn't scan it into. I use the Blu-ray app where pretty much I have all my movies in this uh, thing that keeps them. So I know what I do have. Most of the time I know exactly what I have. There's some times where I question it. They don't remember if it's like a different version or something like that. Um, but uh, the drop, this is the Blu-ray Digital HD. And the last one out of this whole thing is uh, the Seth MacFarlane's Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy Uncensored. I did have this on DVD, so this is pretty much a um, upgrade from, uh, from that. So... Uh, like I said, I got a whole bunch of movies. Um, some of them, most of them I did not know about. Um, some of them I did and really wanted. So I'm not even going to try, but, you know, I just got a bunch of bunch of movies. So like I said, I got it from Pop-Up Pack, which is uh, a sister company, if you want to call it, to Horror Pack. Check out Horror Pack if you're into horror movies. Four movies a month that they randomly pick and uh, they give you clues for and such. Should be coming soon, I'm guessing. Um, so I'll be doing an unboxing for that. Uh, so like I said, I believe it's still going on. Check a pop-up pack for uh, the sale and stuff. Like I said, a lot of these are going for uh, $5 and cheaper. So definitely check those out. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. Like I said, I'm going to try to uh, do more videos for sure. I just want to get acclimated into the gym. And then by the time getting home, you know, getting, uh, you know, rest. Not rest, but getting, you know, enough motivation to uh, start doing uh, more videos and stuff. But uh, you'll you'll see more coming from me. Again, thank you for everyone who, who continued to watch this. Uh, if you sat through the entire thing, um, type... Uh, Death Race 2050 in the comments. Uh, but again, if you enjoyed what you have seen and haven't already hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the like button, and of course hit that little bell button so you know when I do upload uh, more stuff.